The film Nocturnal Animals is not only a technical marvel, but also a narrative marvel. It's probably the most engrossing film I've seen in years. This is largely due to its story and how the film presents said story. Warning, spoilers ahead. The film follows Susan, who hurt Edward many years earlier, by both cheating on him and having his child aborted, and now his book, also called Nocturnal Animals, is a form of disguised revenge. He sends Susan a copy, which she decides to read. Susan settles down with the novel. What she reads is played out before us. Tony is driving through the night with his family when his car is shunted off the road by another vehicle containing three young men, led by Ray, then mentally castrates Tony by making him feel weak and helpless and unable to protect his family. They're taken, and we later find out they are dead. This book is basically Edward retelling his experience outside the abortion clinic, where he sees his wife with another man and does nothing. He sees that the woman he married is dead along with his child. This is only one of many parallels between his book and his experience with Susan. The film Nocturnal Animals is about Edward's insecurities and his relationship with Susan, and how Susan's former self was essentially killed a long time ago. Forcing Susan to relive her mistakes and how she hurt him is Edward's form of revenge. Which is why at the end of the film, Edward doesn't meet her at the restaurant. If you haven't already, I'd recommend you see it for yourself and comment down below if you've seen it to tell me if I misinterpreted anything wrong.